I would say to expect some glitches, expect some things to be a little wonky. You know, this is a pretty big update that they've done. Everything so far seems to be working pretty well. I did have one glitch with actually this deck. They changed this metamorphosis. They made that a lot better. I'm going to keep uh, that star sharp. Oh, there he is. We got him off the bat. Let's go. Aether snap. <laughs> oh, goodness. I don't even care if I win. I just want to show you guys this card in action. Like, look at that art, though, man. Their art is getting better and better on these cards. Well, we might as well. Let's just do it right out the gate. Aether snap. Let's go. Bring out them static bugs. Now, these are stupid. Ward, and after you play a spell, deal one damage to a random enemy creature. So he's going to be trying to get... <laughs> He knows what's good for him. He's going to want to get these off the board. Or well, I'm going to be able to clear his board pretty easy with spells. Yeah. <laughs> he may be reaching for a blitz. No, he didn't. So I'm going to be able to wipe. Well, I don't know if I want to use that. Star Shard bolt on a... I'm going to use the form of unity. Oh, why didn't it work? What? Where'd it go? <laughs> okay. Hmm. Did I not have a form of unity in my hand? I feel like I'm tripping right now. Did you guys... <laughs> What's... What's going on here? I'm so confused. All right, I'm just going to put that out. All right, so like I said, expect glitches. <laughs> Can I attack at least? No, it's not letting me attack. I broke the game with the Aether, the Aether Snap. This is what happened to me last night. <laughs> it wasn't with the Aether Snap, but it was similar to this where... It's not working at all. <laughs> oh, man. Right as I said all that stuff. Look, the time's not even running out. I guess let me report this real quick. That would be what I should do. Ah. So they're aware of it. It's right there. So the Aether Snap has broken the game. <laughs> I ain't, I don't want to concede. You concede. Alright. I'm going to uh, task manager this thing. I don't know if it makes me concede or makes them concede, but I'm just going to task manager it. Where is it at? In task. All right. But there you go. The Aether Snap in action. It kills the game. <laughs> Let's try. I'm going to try one more time with this magic deck. If the Aether Snap kills it again, then I guess I won't be using that that much. Because maybe it was. Like, see, I, wouldn't, I only played that magic deck once. Or twice to use that Aether Snap, and it was after I used the Aether Snap last night, too. So I thought it was a different card, but it, clearly it's that one that's doing it. So, another new popping up at the moment on the market. These pull rates are pretty low. This is uh, the Worm Breath they changed. It was, you know, five mana, or no, it was four, it was still four mana, but it dealt five damage. Now it does six damage. Which is pretty wild. Made the worm breath way better.
this was the card, Farside Explorer, that I thought broke the game last night. Because I had on Palace's Wand, and my hand, I had like nine cards in my hand. So I just dropped the Farside Explorer, which he replaces everything in your hand with Voyage up to the Far Lands. This is a Genesis card, not a new one. But when I when I dropped him with those nine cards, it was after the Aether Snap and the the all the cards didn't leave my hand. They 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 did technically, but they were still showing in my hand along with all of the Voyage to the Far Lands. So if you haven't seen Voyage in the Far Lands in action. I'll show you that in action. Well, you know what? Let's. I don't want to do it yet. Let's go ahead and kill him with this final draft. Draw two more cards. Now they did change. They did change the assistant alchemist. She doesn't reduce the cost of any card. She now only reduces the cost of a spell by one. So she's actually not as good as she was. She probably dropped in price, I would bet. Should I do it? Let's do it again. Let's either snap again. Let's see if it breaks the game again. We're doing science here. These, th these, are, these, the art on these two are incredible. Like that, if if I wanted a painting of a moth to hang on my wall, I, that would be the moth. I don't know who likes to hang moth paintings on their wall, but I'm just saying. <laughs> I almost want to vote. Yeah, I'm doing it. I'm going to far side explore. So I'm going to blow all these spells. This is kind of crazy to do, but if you guys haven't seen the far side and explore. Mm -hmm. So it switched all my cards in my hand to voyage to the far lands. You play it, you delve a random creature, and so I get the cho I choose from a choice from three of them. That's a new, no, that's a Trial of Gods attack, creature. One card in their hand to their deck. Yeah, we'll grab him, and then... Oh, you see, look, the damage is doing directly to the god because it's character. It's not even enemy creature. So I'm playing these far sights and it's triggering. Wow, I didn't even know that was going to do that. Oh, there was one of the new legendaries. I should have kept that in my hand, but look at that. I'm going to pop another mana. I'm sitting here killing them while I'm just loading up my hand. So this combo, actually, I did not mean to do that. <laughs> But now that we know, it is good to know. I'm going to grab this little guy here. Look at that. Look at that thing. Just throwing damage while I'm playing. Wow. What a combo, man. Well. There you go, guys. New combo discovered. Far side Explorer after the Aether Snap. Yeah, he's going right at the Aether Snap, too. <laughs> or at the... The static aether bugs from the aether snap. Oh boy, let's see. Let's play that. You can lose all your favor there. Let's pop another voyage to the far lands if we can get that shield off of him. I don't have any Vikings. We can use that Nefarious Briar, though. 
Uh, no, he hit the god again, which that's fine. Just get that shield off there. I don't need that guy anymore. He's already done the... Oh, I had one more man. I could have popped another voyage. I forgot to do that one. Whoops. Yeah, that was a really cool combo. So Aether Snap, really strong card. Very strong card for magic. I did, I did not realize that that was going to trigger these off of the Voyage to the Far Lands. Such a cool... Oh, you can't... Why? You should have left it on the board. <laughs> so I, haven't had, I was having such a good time. Killing you with voyages to the far land. Uh, can I get that guy off to... Uh, let's see. Five mana... Go ahead and take him out. I'm going to play this last forage to the far lands. Oh, a pyramid warden. Perfect. That'll keep me alive. I'm going to throw that guy out of some bait. Maybe he'll throw the cage berserker at the gleeful pillager because he's going to be if i attack uh it's god directly Ooh, now he's going to kill me he's got the god blitz with the pennant spear nice that's all right i don't care i got the aether swap off on you got it off on you or not the aether swap the aether snap See, I, I already had problems with all the card names that there was. Now there's all these new ones. <laughs> let's, let's get in here again. We got to get these packs. Let's get these packs open. We're right there. But I want to see if I can pull this combo off again. Probably could have won that game if I had not been so having so much fun just playing with the experimentation because I did have a crazy hand before I played the voyage to the far land I had spells for days he, could, he would have not played a, a creature if I oh look at there aether snap again <laughs> Oh man, form of unity. That's what it was, not form of power. Ooh, I like that. That'll we'll, we'll go right there. That's another thing they changed. They made the uh, come on guy. They made the ambitious adventurer from the one mana neutral card to a magic card. He's a two mana magic card now with two health, and it still has the roar draw card. So really strong, St stronger than he was anyway. And the next turn, it's time for the Aether Snap. Let's get it on. Boom. I love it. Now, he can kill one of them with this, but he can't kill both of them. Ah, uh, you, why, stupid deception deck? Oh, never mind, he left one on the board. Well, well, well. Take that to the face. 
So he, he trigger in, did a damage off of uh, that star shard bolt. Also, I didn't even think about that yet, but like uh, those, like Worm Breath. If you played Worm Breath with some spell boost, I wonder if you gave spell boost to those guys. If it would buff their damage, but even if you didn't, the Aether Snap on top of, or the Aether Static Bugs, I should say, on top of some creatures with spell boost. If you threw one of the worm breaths or an auric explosion, I mean, you could really do a lot of damage just with that one combo. Very intrigued by that card. Just go ahead and drop the bird out of here. I'll take the three damage to the face. It'll be worth it to get... Wiccan Trapper is another one that they changed. He's now a Deception. Uh, his name has changed to the Nightleaf Trapper. Uh, but at the end of your turn, remove one durability from opponent's relic. 2-2. Two, two. So he's way better than he was. And he's a guild creature. I'm going to go ahead and pull the wand. Oh, yeah. We're setting up very nicely. So, I mean, there's a lot of changes. You'll notice as you start playing, if you haven't been playing yet, older the older core cards, a lot of them have changed. And then you'll start seeing these new cards come into play. Let me pop and look back at the market, see if we have any new ones popped up in the past 30 minutes or so. Nope. Nothing new. So then pull rates, then pull rates are tough. Mm, I have another far side explorer, but I'm not going to get greedy this time. Wow, look at you. You took away my. Did they change her? Is she a 3 3 now? They did. She's a 3 3. Instead of a 4. What's she before? 4 2? Or 2. Yeah, she was a 2 4 before. Give me a random nature card. What do you got? Uh, where's he at? Five. I'm at eight. I don't want to give him that. So we'll just reduce the cost of the sanctum. I'm going to grab this rune of whatever. Rune of sight. Because I think this next turn I am. Because I'm going to draw a card off him too. Yeah, this next turn I'm gonna I'm gonna wipe my hand probably for another far side explorer run. I don't know though. I, I could it's a pretty good hand. No, I'm not going to do it. Again. At least not yet. Let me get a control of the game. Oh you pulled Asterisk. Nice Veep City. Asterisk unfortunately is not one of the new legendaries. But Asterisk is a pretty good legendary out of the core set. I don't know if they changed him or not, though. I, I'm not sure. We'll have to go look. I rarely play light. He could be better if they did change him. Let's see here. Uh, he's about eight dollars right now. No, they didn't change him at all. He's still, he's still the same. He's a good. Oh yeah, they did change him. He got stronger. That's right. He was a he was a, a two six I think, and now he's a four six. Crystal Rain also got a buff. If they put it down to four mana, just stupid. Now that's that's a new no that's a Genesis card that's not a new card I've just never seen that card or at least anybody play it let's go ahead and get rid of him I could have done it with that that's all right 
I'm gonna grab him too. I don't know. I might for <laughs> I might do I might drop the Foresight Explorer because this is a lot of random creatures I could get. Let's see what he does here. He's just gonna kill my bird, that's fine. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Let's do this, because I'll be able to buff Oni pretty easily with all of these Voyage to the Far Lands. Uh, hmm. Let's go with the Chimera. And then of course Oni buffing uh look at that glitch. Look at that look at that glitch right there happening with that card. It's glitching all out. Okay. Close that out. Well, yeah, your decks are changed b because any cards that were in your decks that might have changed to a different god domain will will be yanked out of there, you know. That is some of the like some cards changed complete domains. Now, let's let's buff the absolutely Hey, that's one of the new cards, the Blacksmith of Tardis. Death mask when a friendly creature dies, give them burn one to a random enemy creature. I'll take that. When a character is healed. Oh, that's another new card, the Parthene Recruiter. There's <laughs> too much stuff in my hand. Uh, I'm actually going to go here because I want to kill that. And then we will blast him in the face with Oni. See, this is the glitch right here. <laughs> this is what happened. This is what I was telling you guys earlier what happened when I played... Uh, the Far Side Explorer with that many cards in my hand last night after playing the Aether Snap. This is what happened. Like there. <laughs> There's so many cards right here. Oh man, look at you go. Are you going to try to kill me right here? That thing's asleep. What'd you do that for? I'm going to kill that. I'm not done drawing. Uh, oh, he far side. He did a far side explorer on his own. He must have got that out of my deck. I mean, I could see Deception running that card, but there's just so much card draw and magic now. I like the far side explorer being in the deck. Okay. What? Friendly characters healed. Well, that's not going to help us do anything. Let's go ahead and drop Demetrius. Demetrios, get that final draft. Let's do some more voyaging. My hand, I don't know if my hand's going to be full or not. There's another, two new creatures. No, that's not a new one. The helpful Aether Fox. Oh, he isn't, a, he's very helpful, actually. It's very helpful, Aether Fox. A, Aether, <laughs> whatever his name is. Oh, what is going on here? Oh, well, yeah, I'm reducing the cost of a spell. So let's reduce the cost of that to zero. Get Move, move, move. No, come on. I ran out of time. I didn't even get to attack. I'm ha come on, game. You got to let me have time. I got to. <laughs> I don't even know what's in my hand. 
<laughs> Look at this chaos. <laughs> this is pure chaos. Oh, I, I at least got the Aether Fox out there, though. Look, this is another card. Look at that art. That's pretty. That's pretty cool looking. I'm loving the art on this new these new cards. That one's, eh. That one's all right. I mean, it's just, you know, it's not really anything that cool looking though. Not like the Parthene, or not Parthene, but the helpful Aether Fox. That Parthene Recruiter is an epic. And that's probably going to see a lot of play in light decks. Because that is pretty strong. Yeah, this guy has no idea what to, what to do right now. He's so confused. He's as confused. He's got to be as confused. I don't know what he's seeing on his side, but if he's seeing like this mess of cards <laughs> on his side... He didn't even do anything. Oh, no. Did we break the game? Oh, wait a minute. He just pulled a delve from the Far Lands out of nowhere. What was he doing that whole time? It took you so long. What just happened? Everything, <laughs> everything's glitching out so bad. I have so many... I've <laughs> Whoa, hold on. Hold on, man. You need to calm down. You need to calm down. You're acting too crazy here, timer. Give me a second. Come on, go. Go, Fox, go. Go, Fox. Do your thing. Yeah, of course. I better win with all this jumbled mess. So that's way more than, I'm pretty sure, nine cards. But what a wild, wild game that was. At least for me, anyway. And we're hitting that new pack right there. Perfect. Let's see if we can get any... Actually, I'd be happy with another Aether Snap. If I could mint another Aether... And I've got a ledge, a core pack, or a epic pack coming up next. I probably won't have enough time to play to that one right now, but... We'll check out this... Pack here. And maybe I'll play one more game. See if I can break the game some more. Nothing new in that pack. How about that? Oh, this is a change. The Mirror Blood Worm is now a death card. It's not neutral. Same. Uh... Oh, and it actually got heal this creature for the damage it deals. So the Mirror Blood Worm doesn't have the burn that's actually better in my opinion because you're healing a frontline creature one every time he attacks but if you buff this thing that thing's gonna be nuts this is war with the enemy think that it was meant to be living in a time where disease is on every screen i won't let them fester me i know most are festering negativity is a plague for the mentally weak, weak. 